Welcome to Sinrise, a patient's guide to preparation and self-administration featuring the Mix2 vial transfer device. Do not attempt to self-administer Sinrise unless you've been taught how by your healthcare provider. This video is intended to complement the instruction given you by your healthcare provider. Now, we'll go through the steps of preparation and self-administration of Sinrise. Before using Sinrise, there's important risk information you should know. Be sure to read the accompanying prescribing information and patient labeling. Remember, this video is meant only to reinforce what you've already learned. Do not attempt to self-administer unless you've been taught by your healthcare provider. Now, let's get started. First, ensure your work area is thoroughly cleaned before you begin to prepare. Always wash your hands and keep your work area clean and germ-free while preparing the solution. You'll need the following supplies to begin preparation. Two vials of Sinrise. Two vials of sterile water for injection, USP, diluent 5 milliliters each. Two mix two vial transfer devices. Two alcohol wipes. One 10 milliliter syringe. And now we're ready to begin preparation. Two vials of Sinrise are required for each 1,000 unit dose. Both vials of Sinrise should be prepared using the following steps. Step 1. Let the vial of Sinrise and the vial of sterile water for injection USP reach room temperature. Step 2. Remove the cap from the vial of Sinrise to show the center part of the rubber stopper. Place the vial of Sinrise on a flat surface. Step 3. Remove the cap from the vial of sterile water to show the center part of the rubber stopper. Place the vial of sterile water on a flat surface. Step 4. Wipe the top of the vial of Sinrise with an alcohol swab and allow it to dry. Do not blow on the stopper to dry it faster. After cleaning, do not touch the rubber stopper with your hands or allow it to touch any surface. Step 5. Wipe the top of the vial of sterile water with an alcohol swab and allow it to dry. Do not blow on the stopper to dry it faster. After cleaning, do not touch the rubber stopper with your hands or allow it to touch any surface. Step 6. Note, the vial of sterile water must be penetrated before the vial of Sinrise to prevent loss of vacuum. Remove the protective covering from the top of the Mix2 vial transfer device package. Do not remove the device from the package. Step 7. With the vial of sterile water on a flat surface, place the blue end of the Mix2 vial transfer device over it, pushing down until the spike penetrates the rubber stopper and the device snaps in place. The Mix2 vial transfer device must be positioned completely upright before penetrating the rubber stopper. Step 8. Remove the plastic package and discard it. Be careful not to touch the exposed end of the Mix2 vial transfer device. Step 9. Place the vial of Sinrise on a flat surface. Turn the vial of sterile water upside down and insert the clear end of the Mix2 vial transfer device into the vial of Sinrise, pushing down until the spike penetrates the rubber stopper and the device snaps in place. The Mix2 vial transfer device must be positioned completely upright before penetrating the rubber stopper. The sterile water will automatically flow into the vial of Sinrise because of the vacuum in the vial. If this does not happen, do not use the product. Step 10. Once all the sterile water is in the vial of Sinrise, gently swirl. Do not shake the vial of Sinrise until all the powder is dissolved. Step 11. Disconnect the vial of sterile water by turning it counterclockwise. Do not remove the clear end of the Mix2 vial transfer device from the vial of Sinrise. Look at the final solution before using it to make sure that Sinrise is completely dissolved. Once dissolved, the solution in the vial of Sinrise should be colorless to slightly blue and clear. Do not use the product if the solution is cloudy or discolored or contains any particles. Note. One vial of dissolved Sinrise contains 5 milliliters of C1 esterase inhibitor at a concentration of 100 units per milliliter. 
Prepare the second vial of Sinrise by repeating steps 1 through 11 using a new Mix2 vial transfer device. Do not reuse the Mix2 vial transfer device. Step 12. Utilizing a sterile, disposable 10 milliliter syringe, draw back the plunger to allow approximately 5 milliliters of air into the syringe. Step 13. Attach the syringe onto the clear end of the Mix2 vial transfer device by turning it clockwise. Step 14. Turn the vial of Sinrise upside down and inject the air into the vial. Step 15. Slowly pull as much dissolved Sinrise as possible into the syringe. Step 16. While holding the vial upside down, detach the syringe from the vial by turning it counterclockwise and releasing it from the Mix2 vial transfer device. Step 17. Remove any air bubbles by gently tapping the syringe with your finger and slowly pushing the air out of the syringe. Note, repeat steps 12 through 17 with a second vial of Sinrise to make one complete dose of 10 milliliters. Step 18. Dispose of the vials with the Mix2 vial transfer device attached to them. Note, Sinrise should be administered within three hours after preparation. The dissolved solution of Sinrise may be stored at room temperature prior to administration. If not used within three hours after preparation, throw away the solution of Sinrise. Your healthcare provider will teach you how to safely administer Sinrise. Once you learn how to self-administer, you can follow the instructions in this video or those in the Sinrise patient labeling. It is important that Sinrise is injected directly into a superficial vein. Do not inject into surrounding tissues or into an artery. Ensure your work area is thoroughly cleaned before you begin to inject Sinrise. Wash your hands and keep your work area clean and germ-free while preparing the solution. Supplies needed. Dissolved Sinrise in 10 milliliter syringe. Infusion set with winged adapter, also known as butterfly needle with tubing. Tourniquet. Alcohol prep pads. Sharps container. Medical tape. Bandages. Watch. Step 1 of the self-administration process. Leave the sheath on the butterfly needle. Remove the cap from the end of the infusion set, which attaches to the syringe containing the dissolved Sinrise. Step 2. Attach the infusion set with a winged adapter to the syringe containing the dissolved Sinrise. Step 3. Fill the tubing with dissolved Sinrise by gently pushing the plunger of the syringe. Be careful not to spill the dissolved Sinrise. This process replaces the air in the tubing with dissolved Sinrise. Step 4. Apply a tourniquet above the site of the injection. Step 5. Prepare the injection site by wiping the skin well with an alcohol swab. Step 6. As instructed by your healthcare provider, insert the butterfly needle of the infusion set tubing into your vein. Step 7. Remove the tourniquet and make sure that the needle is in a vein. To avoid needle movement during the infusion, you may want to tape the winged adapter to your skin using medical tape. Inject the dissolved Sinrise slowly over 10 minutes, approximately 1 milliliter per minute. Step 8. After infusing Sinrise, remove the infusion set and cover the infusion site with a bandage. The amount of drug product left in the infusion set will not affect your treatment. Step 9. Dispose of all unused solution, the empty vials, the used needles and syringe in an appropriate container used for throwing away waste that might hurt others if not handled properly. Note, it is a good idea to record the lot number from the label of each vial of Sinrise you use. Contact your healthcare provider if you have any questions about Sinrise or about the preparation or self-administration of Sinrise. Thank you for watching Sinrise, a patient's guide to preparation and self-administration featuring the Mix2 vial transfer device.